in this video tutorial we are going to see about application properties so we use application properties to easily manage uh, connector properties credentials and other configurations so rather than for example rather than when we connect to a database i'm here in this screen chat i'm connecting to my sql rather than um, manually uh, providing static values using application properties help us to dynamically uh, replace them and it is also more secure so how do we create application properties we create uh, we define them in a .yaml or .properties file and the steps to to create and use application properties are outlined here so the first thing is we create a .yaml properties file in the um, under the sources main resources fol folder like we can call it for example config.yaml so i have any point to studio open here so the first thing we want to do is uh, create uh, a config file configuration file and that config file should be under source main resources folder it should be under this folder so we go to here and we create a file called config dot config dot yaml you can call it whatever you want config. so under that file we put our configuration uh, credentials so here for example i have uh my uh, connection credentials for my sql and postgres this local databases and uh, i'm using so the northwind database this database if you want to play we created it in one of the videos in this one interacting with databases in mil4 so getting data to practice with in this video tutorial we inserted um, we created a database and inserted different tables to my sql and postgres so i'm using that database this northwind database and it has many uh, tables so now in, uh, in this application properties tutorial i want to show how we can connect to this to my sql and postgres and query these tables so so if we come here under the uh, source main resources folder we have created the config.yaml and we copy pasted our credentials so for my sql uh, i'm calling it my sql colon so it should be hierarchical now you indent and you put the username password database host everything you want to include here and for postgres it needs uh, the username and the password and also driver class and url so the url is the full url for the database including the database as uh, as you can see here and the port so i have this config file under this folder under the resources folder in here then i want uh, i want to create a configuration um, global configuration file where i can use uh, to connect to my sql and postgres so in here let's come here and create a, a mil configuration file and call it global.xml so in in here under the global.xml we want to create a connection uh, so according to the, to the steps the next thing that we have to do is uh, we created this config yaml config.yaml file then we define uh, properties in the yaml file we did that these are the properties we defined we defined uh, as you can see here i have defined these properties the uh, in this case uh, the connection properties to the databases and then uh, we create a configuration properties global element so to do that uh, we created this file and uh, 
let me add the database module here drag it to here and the recent one okay so in here you go to the global elements and let's let's create the first thing we do is uh, global uh, uh, let's see we create configuration properties here. so first thing we do uh, con configuration properties so global configuration is connector configuration is so you have this configuration properties under global configurations and here i want to point it to this file that we created config.yaml which is basically this file that has our credentials uh, so we created this configuration properties next we create the uh, connection configurations so i want to create one is connect under you go under connector configuration is and in this case we want to create database configuration uh, configuration is uh, for my sql and postgres so now this one let me call it uh, my sql database configuration the connection is my sql and the libraries i can get uh, just add maven dependency here click finish in here rather than hard coding the host port username and so on what i simply do is so i i simply use dollar sign curly braces then my sql dot host so i can just copy paste this and replace it by this one is port this one is username this one is password and this one is dbase so i have to pay attention to my naming here here the my name is in the configuration so under my for my sql i have username password dbs is database in this case host and port so now i can test the connection so i have my local uh, my sql running so i can test the connection as you can see it says connection successful now let's do the same thing for postgres add another connect uh, another connector configuration so here we don't have postgres here so we'll make it generic configuration and this is postgres database config now for the jdbc library we can just search online postgres maven and go get it from here so add maven dependency and paste it here now in here for the url i use the same thing dollar sign curly braces it was i think post post grass dust url and bring it here also and here it is postgres dot db class uh, postgres dot username and postgres dot password so this comes to the config file yeah this is these are the properties for my Postgres database connection. I have username, password, D class, not DB class. Okay, so I will correct it and URL. So let me go back to global uh, connection configuration for Postgres, edit it, and URL. This is D class. 
username and the password is password now let me test connection okay see here also it says connection is successful so now let's create just a simple flow with a listener and test it so here i will um, drag and drop a listener and let's give the path a db for example and we want to connect to my sql and postgres so here we want to get data graph data so let's use um let's see from both postgres and my sql so let's use a scatter gather in this case so that we can they can run concurrently so go to database and drag and drop two select operations here so the first one will be my sql and here since we have created the global configuration uh, and we called it uh, in here if you come see here we called it my sql database config we should get it here so in the drop down here if i come here i have my sql database config so i can just select it and let's grab data from which table from one of the tables like for example from employee so from employee select star from employee simple example and i don't need input parameters so save this okay so this is my sql oh that one is uh, that one was this one it should be postgres and let's rename it postgres and this one the same thing it is from a different database i have the, i have the table the, the same database and uh, tables in uh, in both my sql and postgres so it is just for this demo purpose the same data i'm grabbing it from both uh, databases so this one is my sql yep, and select star from employee from employee so we are getting employee data so if i come to post so i have i have the data in both the databases in my sql as you can see i have the north wind database and we can just employee table is here so i'm getting data from this employee table and in postgres also i have the same database and the different e north wind database is here the different tables under it are here so we want to get data from this employee uh, table let's see how many uh, how many rows it has so yeah it has only nine rows so we are going to get this data basically two times one for mysql and one for postgres to just show the connection using the using uh, connection properties here application and the other thing is here okay the uh, uh, connector configuration for the listeners this is just a local host so let me just accept this so we have this one finally uh, we have the payload from these two databases and let's just transform it so we can use transform message here and then the output will be in json format uh, so from the scatter gutter, gutter we get uh, an object that has the mul event object so if we just do like this we are going to 
basically concatenate the results from the two databases so the data will be duplicated from the two databases so if i do like this now when i query this from postman or from arc uh, it should give me this data one from postgres and one from my sql and for the connection rather than just coming here and adding a, con a connection we are using the global uh, connection uh, global uh, database uh, connection that we defined here so we have connection configuration for my sql and postgres and to do that the first thing we did is we created this yaml file and we specified our connection properties here it should be in a, a hierarchical way so for my sql for example after typing my sql colon then we indent it and we include all the credentials we want to include here the same thing for postgres so if i then now uh, let's go ahead and test this so now it has deployed let's go to arc and submit this and see what it gives us so as you can see the response code is 200 and it got the data here uh, we have this record this here from the two databases we can check the count we can add a logger here let's add a logger and uh, that gives us the count of uh, the number of records so here size of payload so it should be 18 we said save this okay now so now let's submit it and on the console it should print the number of uh, the number of records that it grabbed from both databases okay so now if you come here what do we get yeah so it has we see 18 here so 9 is from postgres 9 is from mysql so the main thing the main thing we saw in this video tutorial is about uh, how to use application properties rather than hard coding static values or connections or other configurations we can create a config file and put our uh, uh, connection properties there and use them in our global configurations